coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Los Angeles Rams. from SoFi Stadium. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The former second round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He's gonna look deep down the field. And got his man complete. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. Rams, nothing. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Here's Stafford. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly, and he'll force the incompletion. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw, Stafford. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34, and he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Mixon with a first down carry. And not much, maybe a yard down to the 23. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. That'll give them eight that time, and that'll bring up a third and one. Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Touchdown, Bengals! C.J. Uzama from 10 yards out. And the Bengals have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Rams, nothing. Evan McPherson to kick off. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Yard 
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cup. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. A six-yard pickup brings up second. To throw again on second down. Stafford. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Throwing again at Stafford. Over the middle to Beckham. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Stafford. He completes it to Beckham. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To the air again, Stafford. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Stafford's throw pulled in by Woods. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. Looking for Woods again, and he finds him. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the Bengals are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Quite a decision there on fourth down. They didn't just want the first. They wanted six points, and following the interception, they're going to come away with neither. And that's too bad, partner, because they really went for it on that one, right? Because I think in their mind, sometimes the illogical play is a logical play. But in this case, they were wrong. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now it's Burrow. This is caught, it's Boyd. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The Rams gonna go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They'll run on first down, Mixon. He was brought down by Troy Reeder. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. 
Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off at the 45. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And this is going to be intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And the Bengals are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at the 20. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, he just needed to throw it away, but instead, out of bounds he goes, and that's a sack. I'm on, right? Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Airing one out for Boyd. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big connection on that one. 33 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. We're going to get this into the hands of Nixon, his running back. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. T. Higgins, 39 yards. And the Bengals add on to their lead. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. Rams, nothing. Evan McPherson. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. At their own 13-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now it's Stafford. It's caught by OBJ. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Second and 10. Bus formation, bus formation. Out of the gun, Stafford. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Sam Hubbard making his presence felt in the backfield. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Mike Hilton. Then he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Burrow will throw. Touchdown! That's caught. Jamar Chase on a touchdown throw from Joe Burrow. And the Bengals use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it is 28 0. Rams, nothing. Kevin McPherson to kick off fourth. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up. First and goal at the five. With such a costly interception, nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it to make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably give them the court. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Touchdown, Boyd. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bengals use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. Bengals 35, Rams nothing. Evan McPherson to kick off. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. 
they might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere, and so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Now a throw here, hauled in. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Or maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Now a first down throw complete downfield. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Stafford. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Well, all I can do up here is just shake my head. I mean, six interceptions. I cannot imagine what he's thinking between the ears right now. Well, just think of how it is for his teammates because after the first few, you know they're going over to him. Hey, we'll get them next time. Now they're probably a little bit frustrated. And if you're a receiver, you're thinking to yourself, any ball that's in the air, you become receiver and defensive back. You've got to go compete for the ball so that you don't get another one picked off. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw caught by Higgins. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Play action, it's Burrow. Escaping the pressure right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamar Chase, 27 yards. And the Bengals are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that will extend this big lead. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay. I'm... And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Back to throw. Stafford. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Here's second and ten. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Trey Hendrickson. Able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. And they're staring up at a third and long. It's caught. Beckham. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. 
a gain of 17 yards. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Bengals will get the football back. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 18. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. It's a gain of 23 yards. And the Bengals first down. They will throw on first down with Burrow. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And this one is incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And the Rams defense gets to him again behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Now they go for it on fourth down, but that pass is knocked away and incomplete. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Stafford going to give to Akers on the draw. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll go again here with Akers. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first down, Stafford here. Over the middle to Beckham. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A game of four. It's now second and six. Throwing a Stafford. Going right back to Beckham here, complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. It's a game of four. Makes it third and Now Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he is going to have a Rams first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Jesse Bates and the Bengals are going to take possession here it's a touchback and they'll take over at the 20 yard line the Bengals drive about to get going and a few kneel downs should just about do it now defensively they do have all three timeouts but very little reason to use them at this point and he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line 44 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game but they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game, and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in the running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. And yeah, that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Looks like they went for the combo play there. A nice ample gain on the ground on the previous play. Going for the big shot on that one unsuccessfully. On second down, here's Mixon. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. 
Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And this one is right through. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory.